packages, they'll remember that UPS uh, was a very special friend to do this for us. Do you know offhand if you're getting a lot of inquiries from the community, people ready to come see, see the pandas, school groups, or anything like that? It is unbelievable. The phones are ringing off the hook. It is unbelievable. And we're just, uh, you know, struggling to do our best to answer all the questions and deal with all the opportunities and, and the challenges of it. Uh, sharing the pandas with uh, Atlanta, the region, the nation, the world, is not going to be easy because we're not a big zoo and uh, getting them out here is going to be logistically challenging. We'll do our best and I'm sure if people are patient with us they're going to enjoy this. Thank you very much Dr. Maple and his daughter Molly also sharing in the excitement here today. Uh, there is more video I think that is from earlier today at the uh, airport. Um, for now we are waiting for the second truck to open, the second UPS Panda Express truck to open and let the other panda out. For now, we're live at Zoo Atlanta. Jovita Moore, Channel 2 Action News. with Richard and we're having like a really nice talk and he mentions to me how a good friend of ours a mutual friend showed her his breast her showed him her breast to show him the nipple ring in it what really what? and I said excuse me but I think that's just this well, how why would she do that and why would you look and and then I realized that I'm just jealous You're jealous of what I'm jealous well, because she's beautiful and her breasts are much bigger than mine. But beyond that, I was jealous because it was sort of sharing. And I would have been less jealous if he had said, in an odd way, I had sex with this stranger. But instead, it was a friend, and they shared sort of this intimate wow. breast moment. Excuse me. Yeah. You have a problem with the fact that you were upset that your husband was looking at another woman's breast. That is not a problem. Her, your problem. Who's she fine? should not have been showing her breast to your well, husband. I don't care if it has a ring or nothing. I don't get that. They're mostly Meredith's clients. They're what? close, but they're close friends. I didn't agree with that. I thought it was like How beyond. How would he feel if, if your best male friend whipped I his out? I said that. And he showed the ring. I said, what if he, a man had exposed himself to me with that? And he was he said, well, if it's your friend and it's the, what? the big... I agree. <laughs> but am I, am, is he wrong? He's or, wrong. Or, or am I just being a jealous? Fun. Is he wrong? He's wrong. He's, he's wrong, wrong. But, I, but I can see your point. You, uh, you got jealous when you saw Steve checking out some cheerleaders on TV one night. Right, because I, do, I haven't seen him do that. I've been with him for 17 years. The first time I ever noticed him doing that. So it was odd to see that he actually is a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> but Elle Magazine did this whole... Actually, a man wrote the article in Elle Magazine talking about jealousy. And he said how men don't like to admit it, but they're jealous too. But they're more jealous if it's a sexual encounter, if yeah. their girlfriend is actually involved ha with having sex with another guy, whereas women, it's a matter of intimacy, and that's like what I, happened to me, sort of. What? You're so well, tame. Because of what it said, no, I just don't get it. He said men's brains are innately wired to react to the fear of sexual infidelity because of the issues of paternity. I'm lost. Women react to emotional inf infidelity. No, he's emotional Ever infidelity. In evolution, the mm -hmm. male sperm can go all over the place. And it did. <laughs> <laughs> They don't know dumb. who who's carrying their baby. But, but what he's saying is ours is emotional. We don't mind if the husband sleeps with somebody or has sex with them. Ours is emotional. Because if they're attached like in an the intimate yeah. manner, we're more jealous because that means they're going to leave us with the baby that they have uh, implanted mm. in us. See, okay, uh, help me yeah. analyze this anecdote here. I've said on the show that w when I have a boyfriend and we're out and, and he sees beautiful women and, and they're checking him out, it actually kind of turns me on. But if a woman engages him intellectually and stimulates him in a conversation, like if Jennifer Love Hewitt, who's beautiful, talented, smart, and everything, were to engage him in a conversation, then I'd get a little intimidated. That makes is sense. That, is that a fair thing? Well, you know what? I think it's because men look at women as their women. I mean, I've actually heard a man say, you know, that's my stuff right there. Oh. And, oh, and they're oh. talking about... Child. Visit eat 
toys, and it will come to you. The search for the killer of this young mother and her toddler. An undercover look at the area's illegal gambling. And making airlines pay for their own mistakes. The Night Feed is next. Dan Grant. Super bonus watch to win. Thursday at 11 during Channel 2 Action News. Somewhere in America, moments from now, there could be a new multi-millionaire. Welcome to the big game. And good evening, I'm Glenn Burns, and it's Tuesday, November the 9th. Tonight's big game jackpot, an estimated annuitize $62 million. To win that jackpot, all you have to do is match all five white balls plus the gold big money ball. Good luck. Your first big game winning number tonight is the number 40. Up next, we have... 13. And congratulations tonight to Rebecca Schneider of Lad, Illinois, one of our recent $150,000 big game winners. 12 is next. That'll be followed by 26. Then we have the number 42. Now for the gold big money ball. Tonight's gold big money ball number is 27. So your big game winning numbers are 40, 13, 12, 26, 42, and the gold big money ball is 27. If no one matches all six numbers tonight, Friday's big game jackpot could be worth $75 million. Join us then in your exclusive station for the big game. How getting bumped at the airport could land you a great deal tonight at 11. Live, local, late breaking. Now, coverage you can count on. This is the Channel 2 Action News Night Beat at 11. The unthinkable leaves police scrambling for clues. A young mother, her two-year-old daughter, murdered their car set on fire. Who could have done such a thing? Tonight, her family tells their tragic story. It's a pastime that's turning some people into high-rolling addicts willing to strike their savings, in some cases, their lives, on a chance at striking it rich. Tonight, the Channel 2 hidden camera investigation draws heightened concern from the state's top leader. Good evening, I'm Pam Martin, and tonight for Monica Kaufman. And I'm John Pruitt. We begin tonight with what may be the state's largest and fastest-growing illegal activity, video gambling. Channel 2's Tom Regan joins us with his investigation, which you will see only on 2. Tom? You know, Pam and John, video poker has been around Georgia for several years, but never has the illegal practice of paying cash for winnings been so flagrant and so commonplace. We found people winning cash in bars, laundromats, even convenience stores. It goes on because there's virtually no one enforcing the law. Recently, we followed undercover police as they raided a bar for illegal video gambling, an addictive pastime that some players have called the crack cocaine of gambling. A 53-year-old woman feeds $750 into a video poker machine while her two grandchildren wander around a McDonough bar until midnight. Would woman be wagering so much money on the chance of winning a gift certificate? No, she was winning cash payouts just like a casino. She gave the manager the... Uh cash out tip he returned with cash to her video gaming outlets are opening all across metro atlanta and georgia yes it is yes it is illegal but it's going up it's going on everywhere i was surprised i was very surprised governor barnes tells us some state lawmakers recently alerted him to their concerns about video poker but this was the first time he saw cash payouts captured by our undercover cameras here at this convenience store and elsewhere and this is likely the tip of the iceberg. If it is that widespread, then, th then there should be an increased enforcement effort. And we will do so. Experts say video poker can be horribly addictive. This successful businessman, who never had a gambling problem before, lost $200,000 playing video poker in Metro Atlanta. It's such a horrible feeling to know that you can't quit something as ridiculous and as stupid as sitting and playing a video Poker machine. Barnes vows to take action. If there's a violation of the law, we're going to enforce it. I'm not going to get into the same situation that they got into in South Carolina. I can tell you that. Yeah, so you're not a Governor Barnes told me today that he has asked the Georgia Bureau of Investigation to assess the prevalence of illegal video gambling in Georgia. If the agency determines the problem is getting out of control, the governor says he will push for additional law enforcement on the state and local levels to combat the crime. Pam and John. Thank you, Tom. The family of a murdered Clayton County woman and her two-year-old daughter is making a plea tonight. Their bodies were found in the trunk of a burned-out car last night. The family hopes anyone who might have information...